to um, give a challenge for, it's actually for parents, um, you know, moms and dads, but because it's Father's Day, I'll just specifically talk to fathers. Um, part of the reason I'm sharing this partly because it's at the stage of life that my wife and I are at, and we're kind of um, at a certain stage with our own children. You know, we, we realize that we are, we got five summers left. We're actually in the fifth one. We actually have four summers left with our girls home. Um, of, actually, I brainwashed them, and so they're going to stay for another 10 years. <laughs> so it's all working out good for me. No, but we'll see if that works. I'm kidding. Um, but no, in all seriousness, we realize we're on, the, we're on the latter end of raising, raising kids. You know, we've got four or five years before they graduate high school. Who knows what happened after that? And this has always been a thought in our mind and always a thought in my mind from the moment my first one was born. And it just, it, it, it's, it's getting heightened. It's getting more intense. It's getting more emphasis. And it's this thought right here. You don't get these moments back. And that had been um, supposed to be easier the second time around. Um, you just don't get those moments back with your kids. I realize in this room we have fathers that have kids, grandkids, and some of you, you, you are you are a blessed man to have great grandkids. And uh, but I want to exhort you just as a young dad. And so however you fit on the spectrum of being a father, that you don't get those moments back. So take them and use them wisely. And for me, I was just reflecting on this whole concept. And it's, it's honestly been a, just, just before I had kids up until this point, it's always been a thought. You don't get these moments back. But that thing is just getting louder in my heart as my kids are getting older. Like, wow, I don't get this back. I mean, this, I, get, I get one shot at this type of thing. And I was just reflecting on this. And um, uh, I think back on my own life, my own, you know, my own life. And obviously, if you think, have you ever thought about what, what things actually you remember? You know, it's fascinating. You remember, obviously, the big moments in life, you know, the, the writing on the wall moments. Those are, we just can't forget those. But it's amazing how many of the simple and when it happened, mundane moments that you actually remember 20, 30 years later. And I'm just reflecting on, you know, just my dad, especially since it's Father's Day, and thinking a lot of the things I remember, obviously, were the big moment, the big moments we had, it's just Brian and I and Leah just um, being raised by my dad. But then it's amazing how many of those moments were just the simple mundane one, maybe just a simple conversation that really didn't have any major point, but it was just a good conversation. And I remember those moments. And I, I just want to challenge us as fathers that sometimes... Obviously, we're really good at those big moments, but there are the simple, seemingly mundane, what's the point moment. Those are the moments that you don't ever get back to. And uh, there's one I wanted to share just because it's the one that comes to mind this morning. And uh, my girls, uh, Candace probably correct me on this, but I think it was my sailor was around two or three years old, and Kennedy is about oh, four or five, maybe six years old. And I don't remember if it was her birthday or Mother's Day, but it was just, we wanted to do something special for Candace. And so my girls are really little. And so we're, we're conspiring. We're, we're coming up with this plan. What can we do to bless mom, you know? And one of the ideas was to um, wash her car. And so my little girls and I, we're like, let's wash her car. Yeah, let's just get her car and just clean it really good. And we've got this plan. And, and they're little, so they're going to help me. And how much they'd be able to do, we were going to find out. So we come up with this plan. Well, Candace comes into the room, or at some point she comes into the conversation. You know when you have, and I talked to my girls about, this is a secret. You cannot tell your mother what we just talked about. And so we, the secret, okay, we fist pumped, we did something. We, this is a secret. So Candace comes in the room, and you know, what, you know like a little kid trying to hide a secret? Basically, they're telling you that with their facial expression. So Candace is, she was four. Okay, Sailor was four, so Kennedy was six. And... Um, so Candace comes in, and she's like, what are you guys doing? I'm like, nothing. I'm looking at the girls. Just like, shh, don't say anything. And, well, and I looked at Candace. I gave her the husband and the wife look. Don't press on this. We're trying to do something special for you. Look. You know how many dads know what you're talking about? Yeah. Well, my wife either ignored me or just didn't get the message. So she's all, Selah. So she picked on the, the littlest one. <laughs> Selah, what are you guys, what are you doing? Selah's all, you know, just trying to keep a secret, but she's wearing it all over her face. 
And uh, she kept prodding, well, Candace, stop. You, you got to let her. And she goes, Sayla, so what are you doing? Sayla's all, well, I'll tell you what it starts with. <laughs> like what letter it starts with. So she's four. She goes, it starts with a car wash. <laughs> <laughs> Which was the cutest thing ever. And I looked at Candace and said, I can't believe you just did that. But I love it because Selah thought she didn't actually tell the secret. Because it started with car wash. Anyway, I just want to exhort all the fathers in here. You don't get these moments back. Whether you don't have kids yet or you have kids, you have grandkids or great-grandkids. Because it's amazing how much of those mundane, seemingly mundane moments really help to build a child. Because I just know for me, it helped to build. It helped to build just the way I live life, the way I do life, and the way I even, you know, raise my own children. It's just those moments that specifically my dad took with me growing up. <laughs>